am pleased to have as our guest Mr. Galen Windsor from Richland, Washington. I first heard of Galen from a tape that somebody gave to me some months ago, and I found his story to be absolutely fascinating. His story is uh, unique, to say the least. Galen has been in 77 different cities in the last two years lecturing on the subject of nuclear energy. The majority of his life, the last 35 years, he spent processing plutonium from nuclear reactor sites. Galen Windsor has few peers in the world in this area of expertise. And those few peers admittedly know and agree with the things that you'll be hearing on this tape. However, except for two or three of these experts, they've all chosen to remain silent for reasons which they only know. Leaving this man then the burden of leading this lonely battle of exposing what we call the nuclear scare scam. He's without question one of the world's foremost authorities in nuclear radiation measurement. And he's recognized by members of the Atomic Energy Commissions of all the major nations of the free world. Mr. Galen Windsor. I'm Galen Windsor and I thought I'd share a few hands-on practical things that have to do with this nuclear scare scam. Now you've heard that gamma energy, the kind of energy that comes off a rock like this, is the most penetrating, most damaging of all radiation. And not only that, here is uranium, the parent of radon, and they say if you can measure, detect radon in a home, then it's bad. The government says we got to ban this material. It's radioactive. Let's check it in the bottom of the bottle. Not very radioactive. Let's take the cap off. Oh my goodness. Very radioactive. This instrument will only count gamma, energy. It's just energy. Lights coming from those lights. Only you're getting lots of infrared from the lights as well as ultraviolet energy response and it's very carefully damped to only discriminated so it only gets the energy that comes from this. I don't want it to respond to a light just to this. It cost me a thousand dollars to get an instrument that will just respond to this and not to that. This is radioactive by any definition. Radioactive material giving off radiation that is read by an instrument like this. Okay, radioactive material. You pour it out in the hand, and that's radioactive contamination. Is it radioactive? Yeah, it is. Very radioactive. Now, decontamination is nothing but scooping it back up and putting it into the bottle. I just now decontaminated my hand. No, I didn't do such a good job. Not good at all. Is it still radioactive? Yeah, that's called residual radioactivity. Now under the decontamination rules of the government, when you're decontaminating, it has to go down a controlled drain so that you don't disperse radioactivity. Do I qualify as a controlled drain? That material that I just ate is uh, not soluble in body fluids. The stuff is so fine that it has no texture to it. It doesn't even feel rough. So it's tasteless, odorless, has no texture. How is it supposed to hurt me? Because I've been eating this on lecture tour for two years, the state of Washington felt it necessary to confiscate my uranium samples so that I would be safe. Dr. Fulton from the Hanford Environmental Health Foundation called up and he says, Hey, I heard one of your guys OD'd on uranium today, Galen. And we talked for a little while and he says, Oh, that was you. And I says, Listen, 
I can eat all that stuff I want. He says, it'll ruin your kidneys. How are your kidneys? They're fine. Well, you should have been chelated within four hours. Well, here's a piece of metal. Density of 19. 19.0. If you know your chemistry and physics, you know that there are only two metals that have that density, plutonium and uranium. Radioactive pyrophoric density of 19. Outside of a laboratory, most of you can't tell me whether this is uranium, plutonium, or a mixture of the two. Now, I said that it's heavy, and it is. Let's see if it's radioactive. Yeah, it is. Pyrophoric, what does that mean? Pyro, fire. Black, on the end. The spark that just came off there is pyro, fire, burn. If it's plutonium, I just contaminated this area of Arizona in excess of the EPA's limit for one square mile of surface. Somebody laughed. It's serious. The end of progress altogether says that I just contaminated you in excess of the limit for one square mile. It's now silver on the end. Tomorrow it'll be black because it self-oxidizes, this, this black color, like this, all by itself. Plutonium does that and uranium does that. Is it hazardous? Yeah, it is, because they take depleted uranium metal and make it into 50 caliber bullets, fire them from shoulder-held weapons. In 1976, they obsoleted tank warfare with these things because it only takes one dog face with one weapon to knock out a 65-ton tank. It'll go through three inches of armor plate, and when it comes out the other side, it's that white hot spark that we just made. And the five men in that tank are dead because it'll burn all the oxygen out of the air and burn their flesh. Well, in your estimation then, how dangerous is a nuclear reactor plant? A nuclear reactor plant is just a way to boil water that's the cleanest, neatest, most economical way to boil water that you've ever seen. Can a nuclear plant explode? Only like any other steam plant, like Laughlin, Nevada had a steam explosion. It's a coal-fired plant, but six men were killed there last year. That could happen at a nuclear plant, but as far as an atomic explosion, good heavens, no. No way. Well, one, one more question, Galen. What uh, Do you feel like a good portion of these men in Congress know this already? I know they do. I went there four years ago and sat down with the Senate legal staff and told them my hour and a half long sad story and Sam Bollinger, one of the lawyers, stood up and he says, Galen, if I understand you right, why you want us to have President Reagan snap his finger and make this thing come up straight? And I says, hey Sam, terrific, go ahead and do it. He uh, didn't take that challenge. He says, no, I'll tell you what, Galen, industry likes it the way that it is.